Greetings everybody and welcome to a Grounded Playgrounds map test video. In this video we're going to be testing out Jonesy's Creature Castle which is currently available now for you guys to download and I put a link to the download code in the description as well so if you go ahead and put this in you'll also go ahead and get access to this map as well. Currently it's a work in progress right now but hopefully soon it will be finished and it looks like it's actually kind of close to being done already and I want to go ahead and show you guys what this map has to offer. So without any further ado let's get started! <music> Alrighty guys, we have spawned in the creature castle and as you can see, well, we have a very long corridor right here and behind us is a door and we have to find two keys to unlock the fighting arena. So we can't do that right now, but we're going to go ahead and make our way forwards and see what we can do. So we can stay hydrated. So we've actually got a water thing here. So let's drink some, uh, some fluids and it says an update coming soon. Have fun. So there's more updates in the works, which is really, really good. So we have to find keys to unlock doors. And as you can see, each of these doors has a key that we've got to use. So this one requires a blue key. Uh, if we go over this way, this one requires a green key and there's a door all the way up here as well that requires a red key. So we need to go ahead and try and find a way to find some keys. Now, I've actually figured out that we can actually jump and sneakily parkour our way up here. And there's actually uh, Shinobi Sneeze just up there, which is kind of cool. But over this side, there's some useful stuff that I do want to grab real quick. So we're going to go up this side here. And if we look kind of in the side here, there's an Impana Dust and a Human Food. So these are very good smoothies to get us started. And this would be probably quite useful for a bit later on. But unfortunately, we can't go ahead and access this door right here because that requires a red key. But I do see a little entryway just down here. So let's go and have a look down here and see what we can find. Probably have to like duck under here and let's have a look here. OK, keep an eye out for healing items. All right. Well, I see healing items. Unfortunately, there's nothing in those drawers, but I will grab these three bandages. Let's go ahead and move on. So we need a pebble hammer. And unfortunately, we don't have one of those. So we've got to go find a pebble hammer before we can go and progress. So let's jump out here and have a look. I wonder if we can find something over this side. Ah, I see a pebble hammer down there. Let's go ahead and grab this. <laughs> and there we go. We've got a pebble hammer now so we can go back and bust our way through this rock. So let's go ahead and bust through it. And here we go. So give this a few hits and then we should go straight through the rock. And as you can see, there is now a door on the side, but there is a skull and crossbow sign, which means death is fast approaching. You can trash resources like pebbles as you won't need them. There is no crafting. So everything is given to us and we got a bed set our respawn and make regular saves for backup. So let's go set our respawn on this bed and I'm going to see if there's anything else in here. Ah, look, there's actually a uh, there's a lava blade here, a shield, and then we've got some armor as well. So let's put this on and I also see a mite loaf too. I'm probably going to eat that first so we can get some extra stamina boosts as well. And then I think it actually gives us attack stamina, doesn't it? So we can attack more frequently. And then we've got ourselves a shield and a lava blade. So let's go ahead and make our way down. And as you can see, oh, we're already getting attacked by Lord Mice. Okay, I didn't manage to block that guy. That's fine. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can go ahead and destroy these guys here. Get rid of them. And let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. So I hear some ants down here. And it looks like these are... Uh, okay, here's a red worker. Right? Let's get rid of this guy. I think we have to kill all the creatures in this area to progress. So let's try and kill these guys off. That one's going to die to poison. Here we go. There goes... Uh, I see an aphid. The aphid is here as well. Okay, the aphid's run away. And here comes the soldier ant now coming in. Let's block him. And let's keep going. Right, let's keep attacking this guy. Okay, we got two soldier ants in here. So let's try and get the block on this guy and then we'll go ahead and keep attacking this one and hopefully the poison will take this guy out before long. Avoid that one to the right. And actually, if we spread the poison around, it'll probably be a little bit quicker to kill these guys off. I do see a barrel with stuff in here, so I wonder if there's anything good in there. Let's make our way through here. There we go. And he's hit me a couple of times, but so far we're doing okay. All right. So nothing too bad so far. All right. So I've backed this guy into a corner, which is good. So hopefully now the poison will take care of this one. I'm trying to get as many hits on this guy as we can because the Lava Blade, unfortunately, is uh, not very good against these creatures. The Soldier Ants actually resist bladed weapons, so it's not going to do too good. But there we go. We managed to kill all these guys. And we now have a uh, Fight Creatures to unlock rewards. So we actually got some Grub Armor. Nice. Okay, so I'll actually go ahead and equip this. So Grub Armor is now equipped to give me more damage against Tier 1 creatures. And we've got a shovel, a spiky sprig, and a mosquito needle, and some movies. Very nice. Okay, so let's get some stuff equipped on the bar the way I want it. So I think we have this on on the first one. Probably this on the second one. The lava blade is not that good later on. And I think I'm going to equip the hammer and the shovel in another hot bar, just so we can kind of keep these separate. There we go. Now we can go and move forward. So there's a door right here. So can we open this? We can. We can go straight through here. 
And I wonder if there's anything like hidden up in this little crevice here. Is there anything on there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so now we've got some clay. So we're gonna have to bust our way through this. So we'll use our pebble hammer to break this down. There's another one right here. So we need to break the pebbles and then we're gonna have to see if we can dig out the clay. And luckily for us, we've got ourselves a black ant shovel. So we'll dig out the clay here. And I think I might be able to just jump over this. Can I jump over it? Yeah, we can. Okay. We have made it to the next room, and it looks like there is... Ooh, there's actually something in here. We've got another checkpoint right here, so we'll go ahead and set that up. And then we've got three more bandages and another meal. We've got a, a wasp roll here. Interesting. So that's actually a pretty good meal for right now. It's a tier 3 one. Got some water. There's a dandelion tuft, but I'm probably going to leave it. And this is like a drop later on. And it looks like there's spiders up here. I can hear something. Yep, there is an old weaver and a junior and some spiderlings as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these guys out. Try and get the jump on these guys. There we go. Now... We can hopefully take out the junior. Then we'll take out the all weaver after that. Unfortunately, the spiky spring is the only the best thing we can really use in it right now. The lava blade would actually be kind of good here. So maybe I'll switch to the lava blade, actually. Even though they don't take much poison damage, lava blade could still be useful. And we can mix poison and bleed together, which would probably help, actually. Yeah, the damage is actually taken through qu quite quick with this. So let's go reset the bleeds here. There we go. Now I can reset the bleeds here. There we go. Now he's down. Now keep resetting the poison. And then the poison and bleed can hopefully work together to weaken him off, which is really good. Okay, so we're going to block him. Then we'll keep smacking him. And hopefully before long, he's going to go down. Yeah, the lava blade, unfortunately, not doing too much damage. So we'll switch back to the spiky spring just to get that last bit of bleed off. Unfortunately, my stamina's not looking too good right now. But there we go. We gone ahead and killed him. And as you can see, we now have two granola bars here. And I got parry master. So we're going to go ahead and equip that as our mutation. Because parry master is actually very, very good in this newest update. So I definitely want to keep that going. Is there anything like... Does this army go ahead and anything? He's kind of... He's got like a little spider web under him. I don't know if we break any of these things. We'll get anything good out of these. So I think we're going to move on. There's a shield in here. But I've already got one. So I don't need that. We do have a set of spider armor as well. And a dagger. So I'll take that and there's some smoothies. Do we want the canteen? I guess the canteen could be useful just in case we need to carry water with us. And then we can go and put on the spider armor. Here we go. So equip this slot. Very nice. And then I will just relegate the grub armor into there. And then we have to break these acorns. Okay. So pebble hammer is going to be needed for this. And I actually see some roots behind it. So yeah, we definitely need the uh, bone dagger to break through this. Because unfortunately, the uh, hammer cannot break through these soggy roots. So let's go pick all this stuff up and move it out of the way. And I'll just dump it right back in this box because we don't need any of this stuff. Uh, the grub stuff can also stay in there. There we go. Right, so everything's back in that box now. And we need to probably equip this dagger as one of my other tools. I guess we could use this as an attacking weapon as well. But for now, we're just going to use it to break through here. There we go. So now we've broken through and we're through to the next room. There's some more water here. And now, actually, this will be good for the canteen. Let me grab my canteen here and we'll fill this up just in case we need water later. Because right now I'm actually completely full of water. So we're good. There's some apple bits here as well. But I've got some meals, which will last me quite a while, I guess, as long as I progress quick enough. So I guess we'll make our way straight through here and see what's next. So we can run through here. Oh, there's lava. Hello. We love any lava. Okay, unless, unless they're biting me, then I don't quite like, I don't quite love the lava when they bite me. Okay, so, oh, here comes the fourth one. Okay, there's another one. Okay, we got him now. Oh, not quite. Okay. Oh, the fifth one's coming. Okay, we've probably got to try and get through these guys pretty quickly. I don't know if more of these guys can continually spawn in, but I see a door over there. And there we go. We made it. Hey! And this door has opened for us, and we've made it through to what looks like another door. So let's have a look here and see. Ah, look, we got a green key. Yes! Alright, we managed to find our first green key. And oh look, there's some actually, there's some bandages right here as well. So we can go and grab these as well. Take all the bandages. And we do have a we got a switch. I'm not quite sure what that does. I guess it opens this box. And oh look at that. We got koi armor here. And I'll take that. And we do have a stinger spear. And we've got a hogstopper trinket. I think I'll probably leave those. But yeah, we'll take the uh we'll take the black hand shield for definite. I'll equip that one. And we can just dump the weevil shield in here. Let's equip the koi armor. Because the Koyama, honestly, I actually prefer to the spider armor, so we'll take that one, dump that one in here, uh, drop off this slot. There we go. Just going to try and make sure my inventory doesn't get too clogged, because I'm sure we're going to be getting more and more good stuff as we go. I'll probably take the spear as well, because why not? All right, there we go. So we've got that. Uh, do I want to put my spear on a slot? I guess I'll put my spear in... Yeah, my, my hammer is on another thing now, so I'll put my spear in slot four. There we go. And we've managed to come out here. Oh, look, we're actually right back where we just entered into the area. So as you can see, it's kind of like a circular route. Let's go sit our... So we got the, uh, we got the green key, didn't we? So let's see now if we can open one of these doors outside. So if we go here, aha, look, there is actually a green door right over here. So now 
we can open this one. Hey, and we made it through to the next area, which is awesome. There's another checkpoint here. So let's set this right here and let's go up these stairs. Ah, requires an insect hammer. Come back later. Ah, okay, so we can't go through there yet. Okay, what about in here? We've got nothing in the barrel. Uh, free up inventory by storing or trashing useless items. Okay, so is there anything we don't really want right now? Uh, I guess I kind of want to keep all this. I think I should probably just keep this all. So yeah, we'll keep it for now. And let's get anything better, then we can sort that out a little bit later on. So now we're going down into... Oh, wait, here's some more ants. Actually, this will be a good time for the spear. All right, spear time. Here we go. So time for the stabby stabby. Oh, I see a rock under here as well. Okay. Ah, there's a little path there, look. Okay, so I'm guessing that's where we got to go next. All right, so there's one down. And I think we'll try and spread bleed with the uh, spiky sprig of it. And we can hopefully... Get enough damage on these guys as we go. There's another end behind me. Right, here we go. And blow that guy. There we go. So we'll keep the bleed going. Because the Koyama is really good because it weakens them as well, which is very nice. There we go. They're all down. And let's have a look in here. There's a can right here, and there's also a bit of clay in front of it. So I'm wondering if there's going to be anything good under here. Let's go and open this up. And let's look in here. I see a... Oh, there's like a little gravesite right here. There's like a little aphid gravesite. Ah, <laughs> so, something died here. Bless it. Okay, what have we got in here? We've got more smoothies. We've got red ant armor. I've got a better mosquito needle as well. So I'm probably going to swap that for that one. So we've got something a little bit better to use if we need to. And we've got more of these smoothies. So I'll take those. Uh, it says, you'll find the same weapons and armor at different levels. Trash or store, lower level equipment. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, is there anything else here? I don't think so. I think that's everything in here. Now I can make a way out of here. And then, yeah, I did see a little rock under here. Here we go. <laughs> you know the drill. Do I now? Do I know the drill? Oh, yes, I know the drill. We've got to go ahead and use our pebble hammer and smash our way through this. So let's go do that. And then we need to duck under here. All right. Now we can make our way to the next bit. Now, what is going to be in here? Oh, I hear mosquitoes. Okay. Immediately, as soon as I come in here, mosquitoes are on the way. All right. Here we go. All right. Block this guy. And then we'll use the uh, spiky spring to spread the poison around. There you go, or to spread the bleed, sorry. And we can use the uh, Koi armor to try and weaken them a bit. Aha, knock him down. Nice, and then we'll just keep that guy going. Aha, so yeah, the fights are getting a little bit tougher as we go. Aha, I've locked him both. I have to say, I do like the Koi armor because it really helps with perfect blocking as well. If you guys are trying to get used to perfect blocking in Granite, I recommend the Koi armor as a learning set. It is a light armor, but it also kind of rewards you for doing perfect blocks too. Haha! <laughs> Got him! And we, hey, we're Parry Master too! And there we go, we managed to kill off these mosquitoes. And look, there's actually some more granola bars and stuff in this little food. Very nice. Okay, so let's go and make our way up here. Is there anything in the car here? There's a uh, Minotaur's and Myrmidons book and a cup, but nothing we can really take. So I think we have to jump up here. Aha, there's more soggy roots up here. So we've got to chop these out of the way. So we'll make our way through here. Very nice. Chop through the third one. All right, we've chopped through all three of these. And then there's some gum over here. So we're going to need the shovel to break through this. Oh, I'm kind of getting caught in these. I'm getting caught in these roots. I'm getting caught in these roots, Captain. I can't even make my way through. Here we go. Right, now I can open this up. And we shall go and take out all the gum here. I don't think we're going to need any of this, so I guess I'll just leave it here. If we end up needing it, we can probably come back and grab it, but I don't think we're going to need it. And hey, we've made it to a new area. Some doors can be unlocked by shooting a nearby target. Ah, okay, so we've got to go find a target to, to grab that. But there is a bow here, so we definitely want to take that. There is a Red Ant Club. Do I want to take that? Eh, probably not. I'm not really a fan of the Red Ant Club, personally. Like, I do I do like it very early game, but I find it's, its usefulness gets outweighed quite quick. So we are going to need a bow. We can set our respawn here. And now we're going to go find a target. Okay, so let me see. Does it give us any more hints here? Uh, find and shoot target. Check up high. Okay, so we might want to go into first person here and have a look. Let's see. It's going down back under here. Hmm, let's see. Is it like above us up here? Okay, maybe we've got to go back out here. Let's have a look up here. Okay, so it says check up high. Is it above? Aha, there it is. There's a target right there. Got him. Okay, so that was a very sneaky little target, but we got it. And I think that's gone ahead and now open the door. So let's see if I can just jump back. These roots are really hard to jump through. You gotta like jump and then duck. There we go. So jump and duck through there. And I think now I can put my mosquito needle back into. Yeah, I need to re equip that to slot number two. All right, there we go. So now hopefully this door will open. And it does. Excellent. And we just drop down here. And we land on here. Oh, we got ladybugs now. Okay, right. Here we go then. Is it just ladybugs? Um, there's, there's a button that says boom. I have no idea what that does. But I probably don't want to press it. <laughs> okay, let's go and block this one. Okay. Hey, ladybug killed a lot of for me. There we go. Now this thing can just like, just bleed out slowly but surely. 
So yeah, you can you can see with this um you can see with this koi armor like how much my spiky springs are actually doing to this thing, which is really good. Right, there's one down. Got another lady mode to go. Here we go. So block this one. Alright, here we go. Now I can go ahead and smack it. And keep up that dazzling repost as well. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Another one. Get some full hits. Maybe I should maybe I should have equipped the uh, red ant club for this, but never mind, it doesn't matter. Alright, so that one should bleed out. There we go. Ladybug is bled out. Oh, look, there's actually some more stuff in this pipe. Alright, we're gonna grab all of those. And let me see. Is that everything? Okay, let's 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 have a look and see what this uh this boom button does. Alright, what is it? What is this do? I'm get I'm get I'm guessing this guy you want like fire stuff. Here we go. Press it. Oh. Okay, yeah, he literally fires out a firework. Okay, I probably wanna back away from that just in case. Alright, there we go. So yeah, you can I guess you can use that to fire a firework to kill stuff if you want to. And now I can make our way through here. And we got another checkpoint. Excellent. So there is our next checkpoint. And now we've got bombardiers. Okay, put on your peepers. All right, so we're going to try and take these guys out quickly. Okay. Oh, I don't want to stand in the acid too long. There we go. Yeah, don't stand in the acid because that's the uh, most dangerous thing of the bombardiers is the acid. There you go. As you can see, the acid does a hell of a lot of damage. So you've got to be very careful with these. But that's fine for now. Okay, run over this way. Yeah, he's going to fire some acid out of his butt. Don't you fire your green, dirty juices at me. I don't approve of this. Okay, oh, he's, uh, he's biting me. Oh my god, he's biting my butt. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll switch to this thing to get a little bit of health back. Very nice. Right, the bombardiers are down, and here is our next box. What is in here? All right, in this box, we have more spider armor. Now, I think I prefer the koi armor, but we do have a better sting spear, so I will take that one over that one for definite and take these smoothies as well. And this now needs to go into slot four. Excellent. There you go. So now I've got an even better Stinger Spear as well. And now where do we go from here? There's some water right there. And I do need a little bit. So you may as well drink some of that. My meal is probably giving me... Oh, no. My meal's worn off. So let's go and use... What have we got? We've got a Wasp Roll or an Impana Dust. I think we use the Impana Dust for now for better stamina recovery. That's where we just came from. So where do we go now? Ah, there's a door over here. Okay. So under this hammer, we've got another door that we can go through straight over here. So let's make our way to the next bit. And... Ooh, we're in a water section now. Okay. So... Let's see what we have to do. I hear a water flea down here, so I guess we've got to kill... I'm guessing there's a few. Oh, there's like three in here. So we can use our spear, because these guys are weak to stabbing. There you go. And we can just do a bit of block cancelling magic, and there we go. All right, so we managed to kill that guy off. And let's have a little look down here. So there is a... There's like a tunnel over here. Okay, what's up here? So up here we have... We have to find the water button. Okay, so let's have a look. We have to find a button in the water, so you probably want to go into first person mode for this, so it's a bit easier to see. So where could the water button be? Maybe one of these lights is kind of giving us a clue as to where it is. There's an algae here. There is... Oh, look, there's actually a meal in that little snail shell there. Let's definitely want to grab that. All right, let's have a look and see where this button could be. Where, oh, where could this button be? It's in the water somewhere, apparently. But I'm not exactly sure where it is. Ah, there it is. There is a blue button right there. All right, there we go. That looks like the button that we need to press to open the door. So now we can make our way back to the door, and hopefully now it'll open. All right, here we go. So you come back through the door. Yeah, I like this. It's kind of like a mini arena slash exploration thing. It's pretty good. Uh, we got another checkpoint here. So let's go set our checkpoint. And now we're going to move on. All right, what do we got this time? Oh, a black ants this time. All right, so it looks like stabbing is the way to go. Oh, and mosquitoes as well. Okay, this is... Uh, okay, that kind of built up pretty quickly. Okay. I guess we will use the spiky spring for this to weaken them over time. There we go. Try and keep them weakened, and then we can hopefully deal some damage over time to all these guys, especially to the worker ants, because these guys like to run off. Oh, okay, that guy was it. Oh, nice. Okay, that soldier ant is down. Okay, he's stunned. All right, try not to uh, get stabbed by that guy as well. All right, we're doing all right so far. I think another soldier ant has uh, made his way in. That's all right. All right, black worker ant is down. Right, got him. Haha, -ha, take that. Now we should be able to hopefully finish up one of these guys soon. There you go, both mosquitoes are down. And then we got another black soldier and the black worker in here too. Alright. Alright, come on then. Come on then. <laughs> the clover actually stopped that ant for me. That was really good. <laughs> I approve! Right, block that guy. There you go. Weaken him. Right, now I can probably now I can probably swap to the spear, can't we? There you go. Oh, okay, I think I did it. Okay, I guess it just wanted me to kill that guy. Oh, no, my spear! Hang on, I want that! <laughs> I want some Give me that! Right. Where'd the, uh, where'd the ant go? 
There we go, we can just throw our spear at it, and then we can just pick up this guy. Excellent. And is there anything in this water? Let me see. It looks like there is. Oh, what's down here? We have a we have fin flops, and we also have a boatman fin soup. I guess to take the meal. I don't think I need the fin flops though, so we can leave those where they are. And there is another box just over here. What's in this box? We have a oh, we've got black ant armor in this box, and a lot of bubble helmets. Hmm. I'm assuming we're gonna need the bubble helmet for later, so I guess we'll grab it and. Do I really want the black ant armor? Not really. I prefer the koi armor to black ant, so I'll probably keep that. We got feather arrows though, so I'll take those. Okay, so we got a couple of other bits. And where is the way out now? Is it this way or is this where we came in from? Looks like that's where we came in from. And it looks like the way out is over here. Okay, what do we got here? Find and shoot the target. Think outside the box. Okay, so it must be not in this area then. I see a hole over here though. Hmm, I see a hole. What can be in the hole? Take a peek. Okay, I will take a peek. And aha, I see a target over there. All right, let's go shoot this thing. Hopefully I hit it from this far away. There we go. Got the, got the target. Right, got the bugger. Right. Now I can go back through this door. And let's open this up. There we go. We are through the door and we can now drop into... Ah, now we're in a pipe. This is probably why we needed the bubble helmet. So let's go and equip that. There we go. So now we got a good amount of breath time, and we'll go ahead and swim through here. So what are we going to find down here? I'm guessing we're going to find more water creatures, like spiny water fleas or something. Uh, we probably want to use the dagger or the... I'm not sure what we're going to need yet. We need the dagger or the spear, so let's have a look down here. Hmm, I hear a... I hear a diving bell, so I... Aha, hello. I don't think so, good sir. Aha, I got a critical hit, and he's dead. He's dead already. Oh, okay. Uh, that is the diving bell spider taken care of. Uh, there's an air pocket above, so let's go ahead and get our air refilled. All right, so what do we have to do down here? Let me go into... Uh, oh, I see a chest over here. Let's go grab that. What is in this chest? We have a, oh, a gas mask. Hey, Thor's pendant. Nice. I will equip that straight away. And we got an insect bow and some more arrows. So let's go ahead and equip Thor's pendant. And then the insect bow can replace my current held bow. That'll probably be a very good idea. So let's put that into here. And then we can drop off anything that I don't think I need after this point. So I don't need the black hand parts. We can get rid of those. And the sprig bow. I guess the lava blade now we can just drop off. I don't think we need that anymore. So we'll keep those away. And there we go. So my inventory is somewhat cleared out. I still got a little bit in. I still got a little bit in here, but there we go. So now where do we go? Let's see. I see. Ah, there's a door right over here. Here we go. Find button. Uh, find the button to unlock. Okay, so again, we're going to find another button to open this one. And it's very murky down in this one. So it's going to be a bit hard to see. So there is a battery here. I wonder if this is giving it away. Mm, aha! Press that. Oh, okay. I, okay, that, that didn't actually shock me, luckily. Okay, that's good. That, that's kind of a cool effect, though. Like, there's a little, little shock effect there. Bit of a jump scare, that one. It's like, oh. <laughs> Alright, come through this door, and then we can swim out. Hey! We made it out to the open. So let's go re-equip our Koi helmet. Uh, I don't know if we'll need the bubble helmet anymore, so I'll keep it just in case. And there's a checkpoint right here. Alright, what is out here? What are we fighting next? Sounds like we are fighting more black worker ants. Oh no, stink bugs now. Okay, okay. And I hear a stink bug, so we want this one. Alright. Now we're good. So we got a black soldier and stink bugs. So I guess we will use this and keep this guy bleeding a bit. Because I think if we can trigger the gas, it might kill off the black soldier ant as well. It'll do some damage to it. There we go. So we can get this guy in the gas. That'd be pretty good. I right, got it. Now I can take this guy. I can't see a thing right now. Let's try and spread the damage out as much as we can. Okay. Black Soldier and the Stingbug are fighting, so now we'll work on this one. Okay, got him. Okay, it's very hard to see right now. Let's stun him. Okay. I have no idea how much health this uh, thing has left. Okay, block it. There we go. Oh, okay, they're both on me. And then this one. Alright, switch to the spear. Got him. Hey, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, the stink bug completely just destroyed that soldier ant for us, which is really nice. Is there anything down in this little light here? Let's have a look. It's like a little cage thing, I wonder. Ah, there's water here. Grab that. And we also got some meals and some beefy liquid rages as well. That's very nice. I definitely want to take those. So more attack damage is going to be very, very handy at some point, I'm sure. And now we've got another chest over here. What do we got here? We've have oh basketballs. Okay, take those. We've also got some uh, wasp notes and a hot cha cha chum. I don't really use those, so I'll probably keep them there. But I'll take the wasp roll. And what do we see? Shoot a hoop to enter, but do you really want to? Hmm. Well, I hear a wolf spider behind there, so yeah, <laughs> I'm probably probably thinking. No, I don't really want to. It's fine. We don't need that. We don't. We don't need to go there. It's all right. <laughs> no, we, we we okay. This is where I suck at basketball. I suck at the basketball in this game, but I will try my best to shoot a hoop. Let's see from here. Can I get it? Nope. Okay, we go. Gotta try and grab it again. Bit, 
bit closer. Yes, like I got it my second try. Wow. Okay, that was actually surprisingly quick for me. Like I usually, I, I really suck at this usually. Um, why does that put my? Oh, my lava blade's been moved, hasn't it? So yeah, I guess we'll put the dagger here. These guys are weak to slashing, so I guess we'll use the dagger on this guy. Hello, Wolf Spider. How you doing? All right. Yeah, this will chunk through it pretty quickly, I think. Okay. Yeah, we're getting through his health very, very quickly here, so that's good. Okay. Let's go use that. There we go. We'll get some bleed on him too. Chunk through his health faster. There we go. And he's already stunned. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, if you can buy bleed with these daggers and stuff, it actually it goes really well. So I'll go ahead and reset it. Okay. Oh, you poisoned me. Okay. Okay. That guy's down. So now I just gotta hopefully survive the poison. So let's take a smoothie. I got Mitter Days in level one. Hooray! There you go. Now I can just chop our way through the Orc Weaver Jr. Okay, don't damage me. I'm fragile, goddammit. There you go. I was say, don't jump through me. Well, I want to anyway. Aha! Oh, shit, I don't. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. When, when somebody says don't jump through it, I, you know I'm going to jump through it, right? <laughs> you know I'm going to just jump through it. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go through here. What are we getting here? We have an sun B armor. Oh, and a rusty spear. I'm going to take that for definite. So that is going to definitely be a direct replacement for the stinger spear. Because, you know, Rusty is like far, far better. There we go. And is there anything else I want in there? Two more smoothies. I'll take those. As long as I've got some room. I do. Right, let's keep going. Right, now I can come down here. And there is... Ah, there's a mole here. Oh, look, there is an insect hammer right there. So let's go ahead and take this guy and swap it for this guy. And then we can put this one in my new tools slot right there. There we go. All right, now I can go and break the molar. Yay, we can finally make it through this thing. So I'm guessing this is going to kind of deposit us back down over here oh it's actually taking us behind the can okay so i, I think it was like oh it probably like put us up the stairs or something but no it didn't okay so i guess now we've got to use this insect hammer to go to the other molar that was up the stairs here and then continue so yeah the green the, the green section is quite a little longer than the first section so that's actually quite interesting like you, you'd think it'd be like about the same length but actually no the, the content does get longer which is pretty nice okay let's break this up and we got another milk molar up here and what do we find here aha we found a blue key! Hey! So now I can go ahead and open that. And we got a bit more water there. So let's top it off. And let's go ahead and make our way out of here. Alright, so we've got our blue key. Now that means we have to head back into the main castle. And we can go to the door opposite. Oh, okay. This looks like a uh this is like a haze area. I wonder if there's any like head mounts that we can interact with. I see a lot of like stuffed creatures, but I don't know about head mounts. Because that'd be good for extra damage output. But apparently now we've unlocked the uh we've unlocked this arena as well, now that we've found two keys. And so we have, look at that. And there's an arena right here as well. So welcome to the fight arena. Up here, uh, to, so train your skills, level your mutations, and um, customize your own creature battles. Oh, okay, so yeah, this this thing is actually really cool. So essentially, it's like an entire arena just like this, and you can kind of watch the fights from here. So if you got like someone else with you, they can like spawn stuff in on you. Um, but yeah, you can like watch the fights from up here, and everything spawns down there. And then you just like enter the arena from the little ladder just below it. But yeah, once you've done the uh, the green key, you can open this door, and then you get a couple of creatures to spawn in. So you can see like you got you got a choice of like ants, you got uh, you got mites and things like that you can spawn in so i wonder if there's any infected creatures here like i wonder if we can like maybe find a mount that's going to increase my damage against infected creatures it might just be for all the creatures that we've taken so far i think it is so i don't think we can i don't think i think i think you thought about this very carefully uh we can also set it to day and night as well so we can set it to daytime or to nighttime i think we want to set it back to day because it makes it easier to see but yeah it looks like uh we can't summon in any we can't summon in any like infected creatures yet because we haven't done it there's also some stuff for storage right here and if we have a look over here, there's also, yeah, look at this. There's actually an Antline Greatsword right there. I think I do want to take that because, yeah, that's that's going to be a good one to take. So, yeah, Antline Greatsword on the plinth. We're just going to take that and I'm probably going to swap that for... What do I want to swap that for? Do I really want to swap that for my dagger? Well, we might need the dagger later. So I guess I'll swap it for the Mosquito Needle. And there we go. we got an Antline Greatsword right here that we can go ahead and use as well. Excellent. So I'll go ahead and put that in slot two. There we go. So we've got some slashing, stabbing, and generic weapons now, which is very good. But yeah, Antline Greatsword is definitely going to be a big help. So now we can go through the blue door. Let's see what we can find in the blue door. So this is an infected creature door. All right. So it looks like we have a lot of infected creatures down there. So any head mounts we can use? There is not, and there's a lot of stuff down there. So it looks like it's a bit of a parkour. So let's go jump over here. Okay, so I think I think the idea is we've got to try and stay up here and not fall. If we fall, we have to fight all those things. Aha, I see a door. And ah, oh, okay, so we need to find a okay, we need to find an axe then to break these, because I can't I don't think I can jump through these, can I? I can't. Okay. Can I just drop down here and not die? Okay, this lava is gonna come up at me right here. Or is it? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, right, we need to uh, do a heal. Alright, jump up here. Stay back. Eat a granola. There we go, now I'm fully healed. Okay. Oh crap. Okay, there, yeah, there's an explosion inside of it. Yeah, so we've got to be very careful here. Okay, you know what? We're just going to try and run through. Get run through. <laughs> run through. Okay, and now we got... All right, is there any more here? Okay, I see a chest. Maybe this is where the axe is. Okay, now I just got to fight these two off. Okay, come on. <laughs> Sit back. Sit back, you fiends. Woo! Okay, back away. <laughs> All right, now we can go ahead and take this guy out. Come on, then. Yes. Okay, he's taken out. Okay, so we got Parry Master 3. Very nice. And then in here, what do we have? There it is. That's what we need. We got the uh, we got the axe now. Perfect. So we need to go ahead and equip that into our first slot for our utility items. Here we go. So I'll put my axe and utilities right there in slot one. There we go. So now I can go chop through these fungal growths, and then we can make our way back to that door. So let's try and just get rid of some of these. I wonder. Can I just jump back up? Oh, there's actually a way up here that I can just jump up here, and then we can go do this. So we got to do the parkour again, unfortunately, but that's okay. So let's see if we can. See if we can do it and not fall to our deaths. Because, yeah, we're we're looking a bit bad on health right now. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, no, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, ow. Okay. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, that, that wasn't too good. Yeah, that, that's how not to parkour by Max Force Gaming. Okay, yeah. So so whatever you do, if you, if you guys want to ever get into parkour, don't follow what I do because I will just get you killed, right? So don't use me as a prime example of that. It's going to be very bad news and you're going to suffer. Okay, now I can break our way through this. Uh, Come on, Ruth. I like these creative use of obstacles as well. That's that's actually very, very cool. I do like that. And now we have another meal. Some more water here. And I should probably just, like, grab a bandage and just equip that as well. I don't know why bandages are not on my heart bar or my smoothies. I'm going to actually just sort that out right now, actually. It's probably a good idea. So let me put... Okay, we've got some beef ones. Let me use the regular ones first. And we'll put the bandages on the slot eight. There we go. There we go. So I've got, I've got 23 bandages. So we've got a good amount here. So we've got a telepotty right here. So where is this going to take us? Okay, it signals to a lab. All righty. There's one over here. Oh, I hear a Tasty. Aha! Hello, Tasty. How you doing? All right, let's go bring this guy over here. Oh, no, it's a Rusty, but similar thing. All right, come on, then, you. Okay. Oh, and we got a Tasty now. There we go. Ooh. Right. No, I don't want any of your Ting Ting Koopa. All right, back up from that one. Okay, a little bit more of science. Aha! All right, let's go set our respawn over here, because there's another bed right there. Very good. Okay, is there anything else in this lab that we can find? I don't think so. Uh, unless there's anything on the shelves here? Nope, nothing on those. Let's just have a little look to see if there's any more like healing items or anything anything stored away on these shelves or in bins or anything like that, because that would also be pretty good if we can find anything. Aha, there's two bandages right there. I'll take those. Nope. All right, so now we got our cars. Here we go. So I can't move forward, so we're going to have to let them come to me. All right, so let's try and let them come closer. There's one. And there's two. Okay. And there's three. All right, there we go. Taking care of all the Arkas. Nice. Okay, so those guys are all taken out, which is good. Hopefully these things aren't going to activate again, because that's going to be really bad. Is there anything on these? Nope, nothing on them. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just hoping these things don't reactivate. So there's a door over there. Okay, hang on. Where does this door go? Right, so there's a door over here. We have to we have to find the button to open that door. So, okay, what's this? There is a... Oh, okay, there is some more stuff over here. There's more arrows. I'll take those. Increase our stacks. I hear another teleporter over here. Okay, there's another haze area here. Okay, so we're going to have to probably chop our way through these and then make our way inside. All right, so let's grab the axe and we'll chop through them. All right, what are we going to find in here, I wonder? Okay, infected mates. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so let's go and take out these guys with the sword. And ow. <laughs> there's most of them. And oh, there's a gnat over there as well. Right, got those guys. And okay, hang on a minute. I want to get rid of these nets as well. Aha, got them. And in this box, we have a mining helmet and a couple of other things as well. So let's go put this on. So apparently we're going to find a button in here. So let's see if we can see if we can find it. I have no idea where it is. So that's about, oh, wait, is that it already? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, we got a button right there. I'm guessing that's what we needed to do to open the door. And I hear another infected lava kind of coming up the back here. Here we go. Where are you? Aha! 
Okay, block him. Then we should be able to take him out in a couple of hits. Done. There you go. <laughs> this is why I like the Outline Greatsword and the uh, and the Koi Scale Armor. It's like the, it's like the best, best like mid-game combo, in my opinion. It's really good. Ladybug Armor is also very good as well, but this is just great. Okay. Oh, more tasers? Okay. Okay, oh, back away, back away. There's another one. And now you. Okay, oh, watch out for these. Okay, here we go. These guys have a bit more health. Okay, back away. Okay, he uh, he shocked me. That's that one. And now finally you. There you go, got him. Alright, so these guys are all taken out. Very good. Alright, is there anything else in this room that we can grab? I do see some uh, shiny fiber bandages right there. I will take those. Thank you very much. We do want them. Right, anything else up here? I see a water dispenser right there. And it looks like there's a checkpoint right here. So let's make our way out. Alright, so now we are going... Looks like we're actually leaving a lab now. Okay, so we're going to end up outside. Yes, we are. And there's more mosquitoes here. Okay. Oh, this is like a sandbox here. Oh, you know what that means. Yes, yeah, get rid of this mosquito. Alright, let's see. Yep, my suspicions are correct. We got antlions. Two of them. Okay, we need to jump back. All right, hello there. Well, luckily, I got an antlion greatsword. So we can go ahead and use the repost on this thing to deal massive damage to these guys. There you go, block that one. And now we can take this guy out as well. And one more. Done. <laughs> right, there we go. Those antlions are taken out. And let's have a look and see. There's a sandcastle thingy right here. I wonder if there's a chest up inside it. Uh, yes, there is. Okay. So, oh, we got some water here too, and then the meal. Uh, a case of the antlion. Very nice. And we've got antlion armor now, and a salty spider fang dagger. I guess I can directly replace my other one. Okay, we're gonna have to actually get rid of some of this stuff as well, because I've got, like, a lot of stuff on me right now. So, actually, it doesn't look like I need the... But I, I don't know if we'll need the bubble helmet or the gas mask anymore, so I guess I'll just put those in there for now. Same with the mining light. Give me a few more... a few more inventory slots, which would be good. Um, I guess since we're gonna get a spider fang dagger, we can replace the bone dagger with that one. And then I'll add that into slot two. There you go. So we'll replace that with that. And then we got a full set of antline armor as well. So now we get the uh, we actually get the armor and the sword together, which is super good. So swap all three of those out, and then we'll just dump all those three back in there. Because now we got a tier three set of armor. Very good. Okay, so that's all our armor to tier three. There's another checkpoint here. So let's go and do that. And then what do we have in here? We have another door. And it sounds like we have okay, so there's bees over there and there's spiders here. Okay, let's take this guy out first. Okay, take this guy out first. Ow. Okay. Yeah, so keep an eye on my health because of the poison. There you go. Just drink again. There you go. Got him. I wonder if we have to kill the bees as well, or maybe it's just the spiders. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I think we've got to kill the bees too. Okay, that's fine. So luckily I got uh, bow and arrows. Hello. Go then. Alright, knock him down. Take him out. Wow, okay, that was actually very strong. Okay, there's, I hear another bee somewhere. See inside the honeypot? Oh no, hello. Okay, do that, and then we'll get a hit on him. Okay, oh, I got a crit. Okay, well, I guess that means he's gonna fly into the air again. Got him. Hey, there we go. If we come into here, look, there's actually a speed droplet up here. <laughs> Let's grab that. Hello, speed droplet. I will, I will take, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I'll definitely take it. So one speed droplet from there. I like how it makes a little splattering sound as well when you grab it. <laughs> okay, let's get our arrow back. All right, now I can progress down here. Hopefully this door is open and ready for us to go. Is there another chest over here we can grab? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, find the target. Okay. Find the target. Where could the target be? Hmm. Okay, so let's get our boat. I'm going to first person again. Probably going to be off on this ridge somewhere, I would have thought. Uh, it's probably in the... I think it's in this room, so it's going to be up here. Let's have a look. Up on this ridge, not up there. Is it up on the wall? I don't see it up on the wall. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Ah, I see it right there. Okay, that's a that's a very sneaky position. Got it. There we go. Haha, <laughs> the target has been targeted. We have found the target, and now we can move on to the next bit. So let's go do that. So to the next section. Let's go make our way down here. We can ignore those spider webs. And now we're in... Oh, there's actually some... In... Oh, we can, we can get fresh defense from this then. Excellent. And uh, let me actually equip my spider fang dagger into this slot here as well. But yeah, we can uh, we can bust these up and get fresh defense. Looks like we can get... Is there two or three of these? I think there's actually three. Okay, we can probably get fresh defense three then. Nice. Okay, break all these out. 
Okay, looks like we have uh, some more things spawning in there. So let's go grab all these. We can just eat a few of these. So five, there's six. There you go. I should have just done this from the floor. From the floor. There you go. So that should be all I'm eating, and that should be fresh defense three if we need it. Now, do I have any other mutations unlocked? I've got Blade Master, and since I'm using the um, the Great Sword, I guess we can just use that because that'll probably help me a little bit. All right, here we go. Oh, we've got Tiger Mosquitoes now. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this to lower his attack damage on us a bit. Aha! Okay, he's down. Right, and there is a... I hear another one. Oh, there's number two. Now I can just go ahead and take this guy out as well. Right, one more should do it. Oh, no, one more after that. Got him. There's two. There's that one. Ah, there is. Okay. Go and smack that guy. There you go. Bring him over. Hello there. Now I can take him out. Okay, here we go. Come on then. <laughs> Come on then. There we go. Okay, he did do a bit of damage to me, but that's fine. We do have a fire plant there, so I guess we'll try and take it out as well, because why not? So he's just kind of flying there. Hello, firefly. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Keep smacking him. And the firefly is dead. The firefly is dead. <laughs> okay, what's down here? Oh, hello. There is a, uh, a nachos here. I guess we can... Uh, my meal's about to wear off, so I guess we can just eat that one. doesn't do very much for us, but it will give us ball defense, I guess. So that's that's something, right? Okay, hang on. What meals have I got? I've got Casey Antline. I've got Boat Open Soup. Let me eat, like, the... Let me eat this one first, actually. I'll take that one. All right, so next we have... What is in here? We have smoothies, and we have... Oh, a Tiger Mosquito Rapier now. Ooh, okay. That might be better than the... Do I really want that, though? They're, they're, they're not very powerful. The bow the bow is better, but again, I'm not really using the bow either. I guess we'll leave those ones. I think I'm going to leave that. I prefer the Antline Greatsword anyway, so that's fine by me. Oh, we got another another infected area again. Okay. So there's an infected ladybug. Is there anything else in here? Is there more like infected gnats around here? I see more of these. Um, I see more of these things. Let me get rid of these. Yeah, I want to get rid of all these first because, yeah, knowing my luck, I'm going to back up right into this and just get blown up and die. <laughs> very well, it's like, you're going to fucking die. <laughs> I get rid of those. There you go. Alright, now we should be good to take this guy out. Right, hello. Right, hello there. It is time for you to die, Ladybug Lug Lug Slug. Okay. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, those explosions do hurt quite a bit. <laughs> hey! Right, now I can open this. And what do we get? Oh, yeah, a pinch whacker. Nice. Uh. I'm probably just going to leave the pinch back, honestly. I don't really use it much, so now I teleport into... Oh, okay, another one of these. Hello there. All right, this one. Okay, got some R cars. All right. Down the corner. Right, now for you, if I can get you. Come on, Sona. Got him, there's two. And here's the third one. Come on then. One, two. Oh, smacky, smacky. Got him. All right. More raw signs for me. And let's see where we go from here. Is there any other, like, things on these shelves or anything? Let's have a look around. I don't think there is. Nothing in the trash can over there. Okay, it looks like we can only go this way. So here we go. All right. So there's a checkpoint right here. And there is water right here, too. All right. So where are we going? Oh, hello. There is some more bandages. And we've got sticky liquid rages. Okay. I'm guessing that means we're going to need to use it. So... I'm going to go ahead and take it just so we can increase our attack damage for the next four minutes. Oh, if I know this section of the map like I know it is, I think we're going to have a boss fight. This is going to be a This is Magic. Yep, I think it is. I think it's going to be a This is Magic. Oh my god, there's like laser pillars everywhere. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. Okay, so how do we start this fight? Hang on. Uh, okay, use the telepotty. Okay, yep. Oh. Okay, here we go. He has spawned in. Okay. Wow, okay. That stab did actually quite a bit. Okay, let's just try and do some damage to him before these things activate. Yeah, we'll try and kill him before these things activate. That'd be good. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, get back out of here. Alright, so these things are now activating, so i got to watch out for those. There's also a shock crater in the middle, and I don't know if these things are ever going to activate or anything, so... I guess we're going to take it carefully. Oh, I kind of got smacked in the face with that. Okay, come on, we can take him out. Okay, these things are active now. Okay. Back up, use the smoothie. Right. Oh, hello, Tasty. Okay, so he's kind of hanging around by the shock pillar now, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. Okay. So let's see if I can... What if I can draw him over here? Let's see if we can draw him away from it. Okay, there we go. Right, we got him away. 
Okay, lasers. Oh, we got him. Yes. All right, we're just gonna wait for these lasers to turn off. There we go. These instant managers out of here. I can grab that. We got a shocking dismissal. Very nice. I guess I could use that for one of my mutations, though. Uh, oh, no, we've only got two. Okay, I'll leave that. Right. Oh, don't get caught by that. Eee, run into this little bit. Okay, go, 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 go. Ah, okay, we made it. Yes! <laughs> okay, that was uh, that was a bit tough. And let's see. So we got a, uh, a, a light under here, and it's li looking like it's got a termite king. And we've got a box right here. So what we got? We got the... Oh, we got the... Oh, look, we actually have a mint mace. I want that. I want this. I need this. Stupid fat hobbit. Right, let's go grab that. Okay, I'll probably put the mid mace where the spiky sprig is now, because that's going to be a lot better of a weapon. I think we can. I think we can finally abandon the spiky sprig. I've not really used it in a while, so that can stay in here. Is there anything else I want to get rid of? Uh, let me see. No, I think that'll be fine. Right, so we'll keep that. I've got a lot of gear here. Oh, actually, look, we've got a uh, the slint is in front of the door and the termite axe right here. So you were going to have to swap out our insect axe for the termite axe. So we'll swap that over. And then I need to equip that, and then we can go ahead and chop through these roots. So let's go put that to our third tier. Then the roots we chop through. There we go. All right. So where are we now? Okay. So we're actually back in the infected area. All right. And find the termites den. Okay. It's over this way. So can we go? So can we go up now to get to it? No. We still need the red key. We haven't got the red key yet. So I wonder if it's back in this first section again. Let's see. Because there was like a, there was a bit of an underground section. I think I recall seeing some splinters back here. So let's go and have a look in the first section. I wonder. It looks like it, we actually going in the right direction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There are. Yeah. I remember there were splinters there. Okay. Let's go over here. <laughs> let's go over here. And we'll have a look. And here we go. Right. Splinters. Take out these. And now I can go and make our way through here. All right. And here we are. We are now in the termite den. All right. So do I have? All right. I guess we're gonna have to just use the mint mace on this guy. It's not an upgraded one, but. It can stun them pretty easily, so we'll do a pretty good amount of damage. I'm not a fan of the termites, honestly. They do a lot of damage. Okay, hello. Right, hello there. Right, let's go take you out. Number two. Right, third worker coming in. And now we'll go ahead and use our mint mace. Yeah, the mint mace is actually pretty good on these guys, considering. Considering they're not weak to mint, it's actually pretty good. Get back away. Okay, hopefully the dust doesn't hit. Yeah, we're just like constantly out standing right now. Right, come on in. There you go, we'll keep stunning him. There you go. Yeah, the base has got some really good stun as well. Alright, come on. Are you, are you guys gonna attack? No? Okay. Alright, here we go. Got him. Okay, almost got him. Nice. Alright, we've done it. Alright. Is there another one? Aha! Hello, third termite soldier. Ow! That wasn't very nice. What did you go do that for? Okay, got him. Alright, where are you at? Okay, here we go. Hit him again. Aha! There we go. Those guys are down. And let's see what's in here. Is there anything? Is there anything in there? Uh, oh, hang on. There's some stuff behind these weapons. There's some splinters and stuff in there, but I don't really see anything else. Okay, so there's nothing in this end of the tunnel. Okay, did we miss something? It said we had to find the termites nest. Did we miss anything here? Uh, there's mushrooms and stuff over here. Oh, hang on. That's ah. Look, there's a sneaky, a sneaky, sneaky little area here. All right. I wonder if we're going to have to fight. I think I know what we're about to fight. Is it going to be right at the end of this tunnel? There's a there's a rock right here, so we've got to break through this guy as well. So, can you use a hammer for it? I wonder. I wonder if this is what I think it's going to be. Right, let me grab my... Mexican. I think I know what's coming. <laughs> I think I know what's coming. Oh, yeah, here we go. Right, okay. He's... Here we go. Okay. Oh, he's not down already. Let me up, damn it. Okay, here we go. Take out the little ones first. Yeah, I want to try and take out the little baby ones first. That'll make my life a lot easier. Okay, block him. Oh! Okay, that hurt a bit. Right, let's go and deal with this guy first. Aha, you've been stunned, good sir. Aha, there we go. Got our sound back. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's bad. Okay, thank you. That okay, we're full health. Okay, he needs to hit me out then. That can be very, very bad. Okay, now we're good. So I wonder now if we can just use the. Um, I wonder if we can now use just the spear on him. Probably be a better idea. Yeah, unfortunately this attack like knocks me down all the time. All right, so now I just gotta go ahead and continually stab him. I've tried to throw the spear at this guy before, and sometimes it doesn't always work. So 
We'll just have to do our best with the spear and see how we go. But yeah, he's got a fair chunk of health, but he's not too bad. There we go, back away, so he doesn't really hit too much. There we go. Yeah, I think that attack can actually one-shot you as well, even in medium. <laughs> so you got to be a little careful. Don't smack me with those mandibles of yours. There you go, so we're slowly but surely chunking through his health. It's a shame we don't have a salty, uh, a salty spear right now. Because that'd be ideal, honestly. Aha! Not today, good sir. Alright, we've almost got him. Hey! We win! Alright, so Termite King is down. We got another thing over here. Ah, there's the red key. Yes! Alright, what's in here? In here we have... Ooh! Wizard staves. Me likey. Okay, I'm gonna grab... All these first. Do I already want the wizard staves though? Yeah, I don't know. Could be useful? But I don't know how useful it's gonna be. Okay, I'll probably need to eat another meal though. Let's get this case of the outline out. I guess I can take the spicy stuff. We'll eat the case of the outline. There we go. And I'll probably replace the... Do I want to replace the bow with it or do I put it on this? I guess I'll put it on this hot bar right over here. Kind of more of a utility thing for me anyway. All right, so we found the terminus. So that means we found the red key. So now we can make our way back into the main bit. And there was that one door with the red key at the top. So we can go back and go into there, which is going to be a really good thing. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so back through the back through the termite nests. And then I think it was this way, right? Was it this way? I think so. Yeah, I hear the grubs over here, so I think it was over here. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, it's actually kind of cool that you revisit the first section again before you go into the the, the last. I'm guessing the red key is going to be the last bit, right? So yeah, that's actually kind of cool that you have to revisit the first bit. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, there we go. So now I can come back up here. And then we need to make our way out from here. There we go. And here we go. Now I can go into this section. Alrighty. So this time we've got another checkpoint. So we'll set up that guy here. Is there any more items and stuff for healing or anything? Let me have a look. Uh, there's a daddy lion tuft here. Um, but we can't grab it because my inventory is full. Uh, let's see. How big is the fall? There, that fall's not too big. I should probably survive that. Okay. We'll be alright. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just like... Okay, can I just do that? There we go. Okay, help me a little bit. But what have we got in here? Ah. Oh crap, I can't like, get one of these out. Okay, let me just use this liquid rage for more attack damage then. Alright, so we got a uh, set of fire ants. Right, come here, you. Come here, fire soldier ant. And now I'm an ant light. <laughs> me annihilator now. Alright, there we go. Those fire ants are taken out very, very easily with the mid mace, which is awesome. Uh, oh, there's a switcher. What is that? Oh, that activates that. Okay, so that, that's just so we can get back up. Alright, so now we can go ahead and make our way through this door. And in this door, what do we find? There is a... Oh, is there a fan here? Find the power switch. Okay, so... Where could the power switch be? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I need to... Ah, uh, I should have kept my... Um, now I should have kept my light, shouldn't I? So I guess we're going to have to look around carefully. Oh, hang on. Wait, is that lint right there? That's not a rock, that's lint. Hang on. Aha! Couple of infected nests in there. Yeah, this looks like where we got to be. But where do we go? Right, what's over here? So it looks like there is a, uh, there's a bit of lint over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's a natural right there, so I guess I'll take that. Uh, do I just want to eat it? Eh, not really. I don't really want to eat it right now. Yeah, don't eat the natural. It's not going to give me anything good. Bit of water here. I hear another, another infected gnat around the corner. Oh, we got dust mice in there. Okay. All right, get rid of the gnat first. All right. Mid mace time. Oh, I can't get the mid mace out. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to just use the Termite Axe on this guy then. Alright, never mind then. Right. I cannot see a thing down here. Alright, hello. Yeah, these dust mites are beating the crap out of me right now. Would you stop it, guys? Yes. <laughs> I'm fragile, okay? God. I gotta... There we go, we'll just kind of keep on top of him. There we go. Right, dust mites have been taken out. Okay, so we got to find a power button in here somewhere. Uh, let's have a look around. Uh, there is a candle over here. Maybe, maybe it's... Ah, hang on. Uh, ah, there it is. I found a switch! Okay, so that's the switch we've got to press. Now we can go make our way out of here. Right, okay, that's good. So we can make our way through this hole again. And hopefully now that fan in the back side of the room will be disabled. So let's go back and see. Can we now get through the section? Yeah, we can! Hooray! Okay. What we got in here? We have a... Oh, I hear a... Uh... There's a tick right there. Hello, tick. How are you doing? All right. Let's go ahead and take out the tick. There you go. There's one here. I think there's one around the corner as well. Yeah, there's another one right here. 
Okay, that was very sneaky. I was about to like go in that box and then just be like decimated by a tick. <laughs> that would have been a way to go, wouldn't it? Just like get into get into a hole that there's a tick. Oh, fire ant armor. Okay, I want to I want to swap that. <laughs> I, I want I want to swap it. Okay, let's uh, put some of these old smooths in here. Oh, and a fire ant shield as well. Okay, grab these guys and then we go swap swap. And swap. There you go. Yeah, fire ant armor is way better, so we'll take that. And then we got a fire ant shield, which I can go swap for the black ant one. And then we got some extra smoothies in here as well, so grab all those extra smoothies. Do I need the speed droplet? Not really. I will go and drop that in there for this one. And do I want the tick one? Eh, probably not. We should be okay. Right, there we go. So can I... Okay, I think I need to put something away so I can get the mint out. I guess I'll put the regular arrows in here and we'll keep the feather ones. There we go. Alright, so what's through here now? There's a rock over that way. So I guess, I guess we're going to have to break through this rock first, right? Okay, let's go do that. So here we go. So break through this rock here. We'll go smash it. <laughs> oh my god, he went and smashed it. Okay, oh, more fire ants. Hello there. There you go, just let, the, let these guys do some damage. There you go. Oh, is that it? Just two fire ants? Nothing else in there? Oh, there's a box here. Okay, anything in here? Uh, anything in there? Like a fresh black ant sword. Eh, I'll take the smoothies, but... I can't really take it. Okay, let me swap out the weaker smoothies for the stronger ones. There you go. Yeah, I'll take those. That's better, Harry. All right, now you can make our way back. Okay, go under here. And then we'll go to the right side. And we have another checkpoint. So let's go use that. And can we now open this door? We can. All right. And oh, we got a uh, a charcoal section. Oh, this looks cool. It looks like a, it looks like magma kind of thing. Does it sizzle if we stand on it? No, okay. So it doesn't actually damage the player if you stand on this area, which is kind of interesting. I thought it would for playgrounds. Um, okay, let's go on here. And oh, is that a Coltana in the middle? It is. Oh, is it, are we going to get like a load of ladybirds? Yeah, I see some caves over there. I'm guessing we're going to get lava coming in as soon as I take this. Okay, so I want to clear out. I do, I do have room here, so here we go. I'll just grab this. All right, here we go. Here they come. Okay, there's a lot, oh, there's a lot of them. There's those ones down. Oh, I have more. Here they come. All right, let's use the smoothie. Heal up. Yeah, always heal up, guys. Right, there you go. Are these guys stuck? I think they are. All right, not today, you guys. All right. All right, taking those guys out. Is there anything sneaky in these caves? Let's have a little look in the caves. I do like the way they've laid this out. That's really good. Uh, oh, there's actually a chest in this one. What's in here? We have, okay, more... Uh, st a sticky wasp note. Okay. Oh, and a salt morning star as well. And another... Oh, and actually an upgraded Coltana too. Looks like that is a... Is that a mighty one? I think so. That's actually a mighty one, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, this this one's not actually upgraded. So yeah, let's go take the uh, let's go take the mighty one, and the salt morning star is also mighty as well. Oh man, this like we're spoiled for choice of weapons here. I prefer that to the rusty spear, so I think we'll swap that for that, and then I will go ahead and put the salt morning star there, and I will put the great sword. Or yeah, actually, I'm not gonna use the outline great sword now that I've got the spicy cortana. So I'll just do that because we got elemental damage now, right? So may as well just put that away. All right, let's progress. What is next? All right, so now I guess we'll get out of the Coltana this time, have a bit of a variation. And I hear scarabs. Oh, I hear wasps. I hear wasps. Okay, so stop wanting to start time then. <laughs> Here are the wasps. Hello there. All right. All right, I don't know if there's a drone here, so let's just try and finish this guy off quickly. Oh, there's a tick here as so. well. Okay. Okay, watch out for this guy. Okay. Did a bit of damage. Try to get rid of you first. Oh. Yeah, don't get hit by that one. Okay. There's another tick here. Okay, so that wasp drone is just, like, screaming, so that's fine. Yeah, once you get the drone on its own, it's okay. Um, okay. Go on. Aha! You missed. Okay, okay, you didn't miss. Ow! <laughs> Any one of those? Okay, now I guess we can use the uh, Salt Morning Star with the bleed damage, and then we should be good. Come here, drone! Okay, he's just gonna fly really high. Alright, try and draw him in a bit closer. Right. Come on, you! Don't spam heals! That's mean! Yes! There you go. Wasp drone is taken out. Yeah, the Salt Morning Star now. They've actually improved it, so it's a lot better for taking these guys out. It's very good now. Okay, that's where we just came from. So where do we go now? Ah! So we're gonna go this way. There is a... Is that like a, is that like a dead man kind of thing? That's actually quite funny. <laughs> hmm, okay. So yeah, just a, ra a random dead man right there. Okay. Uh, there is also a... Okay, any other loot over here? There's a, another box here. 
What is in this box? Anything good? Okay, we've got wasp farmer and smoothies. Not really a fan of the wasp farmer, so we'll just keep that there. And hey, there we go. Um, so now we've got the uh, the full red door coming in the next update, and we got the uh, the last key. And it says, uh, "Congratulations, you have reached the end." For now. And if we go take the cell body, where do we end up? Uh, we've ended up in... Oh, I think we're actually in the arena here. Oh, yeah, we are. We're actually in the uh, in the arena. So I guess we can now just open these doors here and make our way back to the beginning. And guys, that is pretty much it for Creature Castle. So as you can see, this map is uh, is it's essentially like an, an arena, but also kind of like... It's, it's almost like a... No, I, I, if you were going to do this on like a One Life thing, it's kind of like an arena roguelike kind of thing as well, which is pretty nice. So yeah, it's a very, very fun map, and I definitely recommend you give this a try as well. Now, currently I play it on medium, but you can always go ahead and bump up the difficulty to a higher one if you find the map too easy. Um, one thing I think they should do, though... Um, so yeah, a, 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 a cool thing, Josie, that you could do as well is make it so that when there's like milk molars around, there's you can actually place it on an ASL terminal. I would make it so that the labs have an ASL terminal so we can spend the milk molars because that'd be really good as well. Because then like people could buy like the meat shield mutation or something like that, which I think would be super nice. So I would probably recommend doing that maybe because yeah, I'd love to uh, I'd love to buy the meat shield mutation or you know be able to have access to it because that's probably going to help like that's probably going to help people if they're do doing it on a harder difficulty as well. Um, or you know include include milk molars so we can use more than two mutations because currently we're we're you know I've unlocked a few but I'm currently just capped to using two of them unfortunately. So I can only like keep onto it once so yeah if we have like the access to more of them unless that's obviously coming in there later part of the castle i would definitely recommend doing that as well but overall this map has been very very fun so guys i hope you enjoyed this one thank you everyone for coming along and watching as well and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one but guys that's gonna be all from me so guys until next time bye